Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video for you guys today. And today, ladies and gentlemen, right behind me, there are a bunch of chests with uh, some pretty cool stuff. First of all, in this chest right here, I am going to be wearing all of this because what we're doing today is going to be super, super dangerous. But, right before we get started with today's video, if you guys could do me a favor and help me hit a like goal, that'd be awesome. If you could hit maybe six likes that'd be great go down there and hit that like button with an arrow like i'm about to hit the sheep you guys ready three two and one okay you know no no hit, hit it better than that actually it's, it's when you hit this cow right here there we go hit it just like that okay that was a little embarrassing i can't even lie but you know what we still got the target and hopefully we can hit that like goal anyways today we have some pretty cool things in this chest right here we have a ton of just a ton of random stuff, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go through this a little bit later, and this is just items you can get with the addition of this mod. But the more important thing of this mod that I do want to, like, kind of focus on is the addition of all these mods right here. In this chest, we have a bunch of spawn eggs for, basically, imagine some mobs, but they become golems. Like, as you can see, we got, uh, I, 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 I don't know why there's a wither skeleton friendly spawn egg but you know you got ender golems you guys got husk golems and they all are pretty strong and you know what apparently they do just spawn in the world normally so first things first i want to try the zombie golem because uh you know I'm, I'm really not sure why i want to try the zombie golem first but you know what we're going to do it the zombie golem apparently spawns in with a hundred health which is why we have some overpowered stuff so we can get through this quickly and it gives us the hunger, hunger effect. And it burns in daylight, actually. Oh, wow. Hold up. What's up, my man? Hold up. Wait, wait. This might... Oh, okay. You know what? I feel kind of bad. Flash. Time set. Uh, We'll do... Oh, dude, dude. I'm trying to, like, make sure you survive. Okay, you know what? You stay over there. You stay over there. We're going to try to do this quick. I am just a slow typer. I am sorry. Uh, and then, so you guys can actually see... Uh, oh my, okay, you know what, we can probably do this now, even though we're probably gonna die. Uh, night vision, 9991, and then true. Oh! Oh, okay, so they do just spawn like... Oh, so these guys really do spawn. I guess we're gonna handle both the skeleton and the zombie at the same time, while a normal zombie, like, takes care of us. Um, okay, alright. So, we saw both the skeleton- Oh, and the Enderman Golem! Okay, you, you give us blindness? Are, are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so all of them have, like, a crazy amount of health, and they drop a ton of loot. Like, as you see, that one dropped an Ender Eye. This is just a normal zombie. I, I didn't think it would go this crazy this fast. I can't even lie. Um, ooh, we might have to do this, actually. Uh, do mob spawning false. There we go. So, they stop appearing out of nowhere. Okay, all right, all right, all these guys just kind of exist because they were here already, but all right, all right. So what we dealt with so far was the zombie golem, the skeleton golem, and the enderman golem. So I guess we can kind of just put them out of the way. By the way, um, they all had like a lot of health too. I think the skeleton golem had 90 and they dropped these things called big bones, which will help us craft some stuff a little bit later. Uh, okay, I'm just going to put this here. Uh, I, I guess we can just keep all the loot that we have real quick. So we already did skeleton as well. So we'll just, uh, put that one away. I can't tell. Okay, that's spawn egg. Okay. Next, we'll do the creeper golem. I didn't expect to do, like, so many at once. But, um, okay, the creeper golem do it has, like, 70 health, right? And honestly, it just explodes. Like, it, you don't even get a warning. It'll explode, like, instantly. So... Yeah, um, I'm not even gonna bother trying to beat that before, you know, <laughs> we're done for, but cool stuff, cool stuff, I guess. Um, by the way, the Ender Golem had 150 health and we killed two of those, I just want to point that out. Okay, Drowned. Same health as the Zombie Golem, and it gives us mining fatigue when it attacks, so let's actually see it. Yeah, if you guys can't see, mining fatigue for, like, a few seconds, which honestly isn't bad. As long as you're not trying to, like, you know, get away from it by digging away, you're most likely okay. But, you know, in a fight, there we go. It's nothing to be scared of, and you can get some zombie skin out of it. So, not too sure if you want that, but it helps us craft a bunch of things later on. Alrighty, the next guy we're gonna do, um, hmm. Piglin, I guess. Alright, so the Piglin Golem has uh, 
100 health as well, and gives us the hunger effect. It, it, it's just a zombie one, but it drops different things this time, so... There we go, there we go. You, you guys see... Actually, this guy's not much of a problem now that I'm thinking about it. We beat him that quickly, and he drops all this stuff, which is gold nuggets and gold ingots, which... You know, we're gonna need that to craft some things later on, so... Might as well keep it on us, right? And some pork chop if you guys are hungry. Um, the next one's actually just going to be really similar, it just has more health. And it gives us the nausea effect, so that's going to be annoying. I'll just put that there. Where is it? There we go. The Piglin Golem Brute. Again, 140 health. This one's going to be a little bit more worrying, and it's carrying some weird stupid hammer. But it looks cooler. I like the um, attire it has, you know? Alright. Alright. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay, there's the nausea. There's the nausea effect kicking in. Okay. Can I, can I just eat one of these, like, just real quickly? Oh. What the heck? It turned into a, uh... Why'd you turn into just a normal golem pigman? I guess we got two out of the way, but... That one gave us poison, which is a lot more annoying now that I'm thinking about it. But okay, we got two out of the way because it literally turned to zombie pigman uh, golem on its own. Um, okay. Not gonna question it. Uh, I think that's what we dealt with, right? The piglin zombie? So, alright. Vindicator. Okay. 100 health, and it does like 10 to 25 damage and gives us bad omen when it attacks. So, I think. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, bring out your axe, buddy. You don't have an axe this time? As you can see, we get bad omen for a few seconds. I've never seen that happen before. But, you know, if you want to like just continuously just keep doing quick raids, just capture one of these guys, I guess. And, you know, you're good. Drops emeralds, too. So, cool stuff. Um, alright, next guy, we'll do Villager Golem. Uh, no, that's Zombie Villager Golem. Wait, I think there's like a normal Villager Golem. There it is! Um, okay. It doesn't spawn naturally, it works when you heal a Zombie Villager Golem, which we'll see later. But, he's neutral. So we're not gonna fight him because I don't want to, and we're gonna fight his twin, the... Zombie Villager Golem, which... Okay, by the way, this Villager Golem had 110 health. This guy has the exact same health and all that, so... Honestly, not too threatening. His damage output is high if, you know, we didn't have all this armor, but... Hey. Honestly, not too bad to deal with, so... Yeah. Alright, next guy, though, I'm a little bit worried about. So let's quickly eat this bread. And... Hmm... The Wither Golem. Okay, okay. 140. Alright, 140 health. And... Oh, we didn't even put this one away. We'll put that away, away when we get back later. And it does 7 to 21 damage. And it gives us the Wither effect. And it has two heads for some reason. Because one just was not enough. And our Fire Sword is not going to work on it too well. Because these guys are fireproof. So you know what? I'm going to become fireproof too. Alright. Alright. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. And they drop a lot of crazy stuff like the Wither Bone Fragment and the Wither Bone. Which, again, all this stuff will be used to, like, craft things later. So, actually really important. Let's put you here. We got two more. We Okay, so this one is just a friendly version of a Wither Skeleton. Don't know why you'll need him, but he's there. And the Husk Golem is very similar to the Zombie Golem. So... And we get hunger as a result from fighting it. As you can see, the friendly wither will actually help you fight. So, kind of cool having him around. Thank you so much, buddy. I just want to showcase those ones. But yeah, all right. Now, on the complete other side of this mod, as you guys can see, we get a ton of crazy stuff. Because all this stuff can help us craft literally a ton of things. Just like a majority of things. You can see there's like new armor, which you'll need a combination of zombie leather and um, normal leather, as you guys can see. Um, we also have a bone chest plate, which you need a lot of big bones for. So beating these guys will actually give you access to a lot of these tools. So just showing you guys the crafting for like a lot of them. Uh, they're all actually with us here too. So I'm going to show you guys real quick the, some armor pieces and some weapons and all of that. So let's just do this. Uh, okay. So this is Enderec armor. As you can see, you get some effects too. You guys get a jump boost, some slow falling. It gives you like, what is that? Eight and a half armor bars, so it's like better than, or is it like equivalent to full iron? Not too sure, but really OP stuff. Actually, let's clear our effects real quick. 
and toggle the downfall and actually bring back the night vision now that I'm thinking about it. And these are the effects you would normally get with this. A slow falling health boost and now that I realize it, we do have an extra set of hearts on us. So pretty cool stuff, good set of armor and I think it has a cool design. I do think however, the best design armor of the bunch is this thing, the big bone, you know, armor. Like, look how cool that looks. Like, it's not the best, you know, in terms of what it can do, but the design just looks so cool. I, I just think of it as chainmail made out of bone. Yeah. You also have wither bone armor, which I guess has a cool, you know, little glow to it. Not really any cool effects. Very close to diamond armor, so... Yeah, if that's your thing. Um, next we have... Okay, I'm not sure how this one's gonna react. Zombie Leather. I mean, okay. You know, that's a pretty respectable amount of armor bars. You don't really get any cool effects with it. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe if you hit somebody... Oh, apparently we're immune to a lot of things. Hold up, we're immune to poison, hunger, and... Some enchantment level thing. Not too sure what that is, but cool. Uh, okay, and the last piece of armor that, you know, they have is, I think, gold, but just stronger gold. So, yeah, it gives you all these effects, though. Not the most impressive in terms of looks, but it is there, it does exist, and it really is extremely useful. You also have, like, a lot of cool stuff. By the way, this is buffed gold, this is golden buff, and this is golden ingots. I know these are very similar to each other, especially these two, putting them next side by side. But, yeah, there's also rotten flesh cake. Not sure what this does, but yeah, it, it, I, I think I need to be hungry to know what it does because we, we, I think it's actually like an edible thing. Okay, there we go. For some reason, it's taking forever to eat. All right, so basically what it does, um, it, it kills you. <laughs> I'm not sure what this does. I thought I would find out after eating it. The cool thing is you guys get all these cool tools that just are super overpowered with this you can actually teleport the golden buff sword i think has honestly they just have crazy attack damage on a lot of them but i'm pretty sure they do some cool look oh so this spawns in the friendly guy oh okay we figured that out um cool and then you guys get pickaxe shovels it's cool stuff that you know you guys might want to try out but oh but yeah, there's just a lot of cool stuff in this mod that requires you to beat a ton of golems. So, you know, if you want to try out the mod, everything will be underneath that like button down there down below. You know, just beat a bunch of golems, craft all this cool stuff, and oh. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> and we hit the ground too hard, okay. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop down a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I just realized that throws an actual ender pearl. I thought it teleports us wherever we're looking, but it just throws an ender pearl, like, at high speed wherever we're looking. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you guys later, and peace. Bye, guys, and can I, can I make in that lava? Let me see, let me see. <laughs> I guess I can.